So first, with a clean nail, we're going to apply a base coat to protect our natural nails, just like you polish does. Apply two to three coats because the nail polish we will be using is pretty strong. Leave this to dry for about two to three minutes. Paint your nail white. Not all of them, just the middle finger. And make this layer very thin. Don't worry if it gets on your skin, we'll clean that up in just a second. Taking a toothpick, put your hand under a Kleenex and clean up all the remaining paint while wiping off on your Kleenex. You can also do this with a Q-tip, but I prefer to do it with a toothpick for this design because it leaves a little bit of nail polish there which you need for the next time and if like here some of the nail polish gets out just wipe your brush and fill back in So you're almost done, you just have a couple more steps left. So now paint each finger black and white. So this is your thumb, paint it white, then black, then white, then black, then white. So it has to be alternative colors. Take a black striper or a black fine tip marker that is meant for nails and draw a line across your nail. It doesn't have to be straight, but make it as straight as possible. Next, take the same marker and fill it in on the top. Do this for all the nails that are white except for your middle finger. So as you can see, it leaves a glossy finish, which you want, and make this as perfect as possible. Leave this for 10 minutes or so, and finish your nail with a top coat. And this design will not work if you do not have a top coat, if you're using a nail art pen. Because in nail art pens, it is really important that you use the top coat because otherwise it'll smudge and your um, nail art will go away. Also remember that when you're using a nail art pen, You should always put a base coat or some other type of nail polish on your nail before you use it because otherwise it could damage your nail. Do this and we'll back, get back to the rest of your nails. So after you're done putting black nail polish on your white nails like so, put white nail polish on your black nails like I have done and also make sure that your white nails, the stripes go the same way, and the stripes on your black nails go the same way, just because it'll look better. Yeah, there. Just because it'll look better. A whole lot better. Because if you make them, like, see how they look here? It looks like the whites are, the, are going, like, opposite, and the blacks are going opposite. 
so if you turn this one it can like fit on this that's what you want because it'll be really weird and that's what will catch people's attention so wait for a few minutes say 10 to 20 minutes or like even 15 if you don't have that much time and after that put a top coat remember to put a top coat because otherwise your design will be messed up but you have to wait at least 10 minutes otherwise your white and black will smudge and most probably your black will mix with the white not the other way around so you'll get this very weird sort of grayish um color with holes in the middle and i actually got that once that's why i had to redo that nail like 20 times but yeah don't worry at the end this will look awesome so after you're done putting your top coat on all of the nails except for your middle finger take your black marker your nail art marker and draw two dots to make eyes for your panda so they don't have to be round but I prefer them to be round so try to make them in equal size because otherwise they'll look weird they look pretty equal to me I know on camera it might not seem that way but it's just because it's really close up so after that draw a little nose like um, a line and draw a smile from that that's really messed up but don't worry if it messes up just fill in the other one and pretend it's supposed to be this that way um yeah i'm not the greatest but because this is the first time i'm using this but i think it came out pretty good so it looks like a little tiny umbrella to me so after you're done that just Go in and add random dots. Because as you know, pandas are black and white, just like zebras. So it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be natural looking if it was completely white and like a little black. So what I want you to do is that as you can see I've started putting like a layer, like a line where the, like just as a French line sort of thing, French manicure. So go ahead and do that and here you are. So make it a little upside down to you, and over here I just put some eyebrows, I mean, yeah, eyebrows in, and then put like dimples, basically make it creative. Use whatever colors you want, but just make sure that whatever color you used for the black has to be the same as the black that you use here. Well, not even as like black, but it can be something like a gold or a pink or whatever you want but that's basically it so that's the finished product and it looks really good to me so as you can see that's how it looks like normally but I think it looks better like that so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna show people like this so on your next nail, just paint alternatives of the two colors that you've used. So for me, I'm going to paint alternatives of black and white, and we'll see what happens.